Hey, how's it going? And as always, welcome to the shed. So, what am I up to this evening? Well, it's Friday night. It's another week in the books, so to speak. So I'm out here messing around in the shed there. That's the uh, reward for a hard week's work. So, uh, what I want to talk about or show you so I have my uh, hydraulic press over there, 20 ton uh, hydraulic shop, shop press, very common tool, very handy tool. Don't use it all the time, but it's definitely handy when you do use it. But these are the plates that come with it. Um, these are the plates you put on the bed of it and you try and uh, use them as a um, resting place for things you want to press in and out. So these are uh, very cheap cast, uh, mystery cast from China. Who knows what went into this, but uh, if you go on YouTube, there has been cases where guys have shattered these things. And uh, you know, 20, mine's a 20 ton press. Well, 20 tons is a lot of force when you think about it. So these things will shatter and uh, you can get hurt. Doing that. Plus they're not very handy because you've just got these straight edges. Some of the ones have a uh, little different shapes, but they're they're all the thing they have in common is they're all this cheap cast. So I saw some pictures of some plates that were a little more heavy duty, and uh, you can find them uh, commercially. But fortunately, the heavy duty part of it leads to expensive shipping. So uh, I thought mm, I know a guy that's got a uh, High definition uh, plasma cutting table. I bet he could help me out. So I had him cut me these press plates. Uh, this is inch and a half mild steel. Um, I think mild steel is as good as anything because uh, worst case is you're going to bend this. Not likely with that press I've got, but uh, you know if you had a hundred ton press or something like that, you could bend them, but. Being mild steel, they're not going to shatter. Worst case thing, worst thing that's going to happen is they're going to bend. So, uh, I actually had them zap out these plates for me. And they're heavy. <laughs> but it does a really smooth cut. Actually, an amazing cut for that thick of a metal. And they've got a, a shape on each side. Each plate is a mirror of the other one, so the uh, the shapes match up. Probably on these, the, uh, the handiest is going to be this. Probably that's a uh, I guess a two-inch diameter hole. Uh, I don't have my tape measure handy, do I? Nope. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's a two-inch diameter hole. Actually, I've got some. Yeah, it's two and three sixteenths, so that's two inch diameter hole. So you put those together on the bed of the press, and then you can put a shaft through there or something with a bearing on it. So, anyways, I think these are going to be a very handy addition. I was a little bit worried that I made them uh, too big, but I'll bring them over to the press. They fit very nicely. So that will be a handy addition and this will be going on the scrap pile <laughs> so anyways just wanted to share that with you and uh, hope everybody has a great Friday night bye for now <laughs>